Welcome to our third lesson about the Nashville number system and what it means to you as a fiddle player. We've already established our original pattern that we're using, our first finger fiddle capo system. And uh, in our last lesson, we talked a lot about, you know, chopping and just a basic long bow fill. What we're going to do in this one, and I wanna just give you a, a quick reminder about the Nashville number system. Uh, just to kind of keep it in your head. And it's the idea that instead of talking about chords in letter form, we're talking about them as numbers. And those numbers correspond to the key that we are in, in the song. And in the last lesson I mentioned this, but it bears repeating that one of the best ways to figure out what key we're gonna be in is to ask whoever's gonna be singing it, you know? So they may say, oh, let's do a little Cabin Home on the Hill. And you go, okay, great. And then everybody seems to kind of know what's going on and it's okay to say, hey, what key are you gonna do that in? All right, so for our purposes, we're going back to the key of E, cause I like it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a little bit more that you can do with those fills. So in the last lesson, we just did a long bow, but what we can do is actually start making some more notey choices with those, right? So we've got our fiddle capo on, key of E, and our four chord over here, five chord, and back to one. Okay, now, instead of, so they tell me your love is like a flower, well, let's make that a little more interesting. Let's start with this note and go over here. So three, one, two, one. So let's try that. So they tell me your love is like a flower. And we're using just those two notes of that, of that double stop, right? Just right there. And then we're gonna do in the springtime it flies. 